Now grab your battery from the back side and lift it up. There are several strips of the double sided tape under the battery, so it might take a little bit of effort to lift that. If you can't do it with your hands, you can use an L shaped wrench or hex key to pop out the battery. We're moving the battery to the side so we would have more space to work with our wires. Next, disconnect two yellow battery connectors attached to the battery. Now find the motor wire that goes along your battery here. Next, you'll need to find the point where the motor connects to the controller. There are three color wires, you have the blue, green and yellow. Yes, there should also be a white connector somewhere around here. There might be some piece of liquid tape on the white connector. Gently and slowly remove that from the connector, there is no need to rush. Now pull aside those rubber protectors attached to the three colored wires. Next, you'll need to remove the electrical tape from the wire connectors. Again, you really need to do this gently and with precision. Any wrong move and you can damage any of the wires by cutting them through. Using our sharp utility knife, we are now slowly cutting away the black tape around the wire connectors. Now that you have removed the electrical tape, grab your flathead screwdriver and twist loose those connectors to release the upper part of the connectors like we are doing here. That's it, you're doing great! Now remove the screw on the top of the rear light cover. Next, gently pull out all the motor wires through the hole in the scooter's frame, like we're doing here. Remove the protective caps from the wheel and suspension nuts. Now take your 21mm axle nut wrench and unscrew both wheel nuts. After that, remove the safety tabs washers from the scooter's wheel. You'll need to unscrew the left suspension nut as well. Doing this helps you to remove and later reinstall the wheel without stress. Now slowly remove the wheel from the suspension arms. If you have a fender installed, you'll need to remove that as well. All you need to do is unscrew the four hex screws connected to the fender at the top. Next, there are two small clamps on the left swing arm that hold the motor wire in place. Remove one screw from both of them and flex the clamp to the side in order to release the motor wire. To get the access to the clamp here, you'll need a really small allen key, otherwise you'll need to remove the whole swing arm by completely unscrewing that 18mm nut. Now unscrew one of the screws on the second clamp and flex that to the side too. Great, you have successfully removed the motor from your scooter. Now unscrew the six hex screws that hold the brake disc in place. Remove your old brake disc and install a new one. Take your new brake disc and make sure to follow the arrow on the disc that shows the rotation direction. Here is an important thing. 
the motor wire should go under the brake line. If you do the opposite, you will not be able to attach the motor wire to the swing arm correctly. This is very important for you to keep this in mind. Now reinsert the motor wires back into the hole in the scooter's frame. Next, connect your motor wire to those two tiny clamps at the back side of the swing arm. After that, take the three washers, place two on the left and the last one on the right side of the axle, just like we did here. Next one, let's reinstall your wheel. To get started, you'll need to place the brake disc in the brake caliper. Make sure the brake disc is placed exactly in the middle of the brake caliper between the two brake pads. You need to be really careful, especially if you're dealing with hydraulic brakes. Also, remember to pay attention to the orientation of the washers. The outer washer should face up, while the tab needs to latch on the hole in the swing arm. Once reinstall the rear light cover. The motor wires should go into the small slot at the back. Now attach the plastic cover back in place with a screw that we removed at the beginning of this video. We are moving closer to the finishing point, you've been doing great. Next up is connecting the wires. First reconnect the white plug and play connector. Now grab three colored wires and attach them to their colored counterparts, yellow to yellow, blue to blue and green to green. Before closing the deck, you'll need to check if the motor is running fine. To do that, reconnect the battery, then turn on your scooter and press the throttle. As you can see, the motor is running fine, which means all connections are good. After testing this, make sure to disconnect your battery. Next, cut three pieces of electrical tape. Now give all three colored connectors a gentle squeeze with your pliers. For safety reasons, you should cover all three connectors with electrical tape. Be sure to completely cover all these connectors, none of them should be left exposed. Now move the white rubber covers exactly to the middle of the wire connectors, like we have here. That's it. Yep, it's time to organize the wires. Before closing the deck, make sure to carefully inspect all wires and connectors to ensure that no wire is pinched, disconnected or exposed. 